Hello and welcome to Don't Feed the Geeks, presented by the Long Island Comic Guys, the masters of the geeky verse. All right, guys, this is TC, joined by JJ and Toy Story today. What up? What up? What's up? Uh, uh, we have a lot to cover. We're not even gonna hit you with the geek beat because most of it's gonna be covered in New York Comic Con 2019 recap. I will, full disclosure, this part, it's only Thursday and Friday. JJ's going <laughs> to give you some at the end, hopefully for Saturday and Sunday if anything eventful happens. But uh, unfortunately, me and Toy Story will be unable to attend the rest of the show. Yeah, four uh, days is a lot to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, our, our, uh, our bodies, our minds, and our wallets definitely can't handle four days. <laughs> I'm, cur- I'm currently ready to sleep for a week. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to start with uh, day one. Thursday, uh, JJ, I think you were the first to arrive, so uh, why don't you kick it off there? Yeah, so I'm going to have to give some big kudos out to the guys over at Best Comics uh, here in New Hyde Park. Uh, they hooked me up and got me in early um, so that I can uh, get myself a uh, wristband from uh, to, to uh, get a signature from Todd McFarlane. So big, giant uh, thumbs up to those guys because they, uh, they, they pull through and hook me up, and uh, it was a big help. Um, so thank you guys very much. I appreciate it, uh, Tommy and Nas and all the guys over there. Um, so yeah, I got in a little bit early. Got there. Uh, they were still setting up Thursday morning. Um, unfortunately, you know, I don't think I don't think uh, Image had their stuff, you know, um, quite organized right. well. Yeah, it was just it seemed like a big old cluster. Uh, oh God, don't even get me started. You know, it's um, mm-hmm. you know the. I will say that there was one cranky lady there, and I will I will say that I'm sorry to say, uh, image. You know, you, you you're there for it was only day one. It didn't even open. It didn't even start yet, and this lady was cranky. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, by by you know, I, I think I hopped online. They were gonna, they were supposed to give out wristbands at 9:30. Um, I got there at 9:15. There was already a line there uh, for the merch, um, and uh, you know, you're asking the people, you know, where's you know where's the line going to be just to get this wristband and nobody could tell you anything. So it was, it was just a big giant. Um, no, I don't think anybody knew what they were doing, but um, at, at 10 o'clock, I finally got, I, they, they finally decided, they decided that they were going to give out the wristband. So I was able to score one. Um, I know uh, Matt was able to score one also. I unfortunately, yeah, and I walked in at nine fifty. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I didn't need to be there like that. As long as I, if I came in with yeah, you, you guys, you never know though. Like they could have easily you made it, made it a situation where you could only get it if you got in at nine o'clock. Yeah. So it's better to it was better for you to be safe than yeah. sorry. Yeah, um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any of the merch, which I really didn't care about. But I know, I guess that big, you know, giant hot seller for uh, was that uh, Spawn three hundred. They had two, God, two different just covers. Just one. <laughs> um, yeah, they had a silver and a gold, and the gold they capped at two per person, and they only they were only supposed to give away the hundred. They were only supposed to sell 150 of them, but I think they blew through with that. And then the other one was um, the silver, which they didn't cap a li- They didn't put a limit on that, so everybody. There were 1,500 them. of those made. They were supposed to be evenly distributed amongst the four days, and they sold them all on Thursday. <laughs> First day, all gone. People, people were people... walking away with stacks of 40 or 50 copies. It, it's ridiculous. So oh no 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 no! I just want I just want fifty copies for myself. I promise. I, I, that's, <laughs> that, that's why I'm I'm a little annoyed with with Image the way they ran some stuff this year. Yeah, that's uh, just they, stupidity. They they didn't have their stuff together. Great books. Uh, just just the Image book. Uh, just the Image booth in particular. Not Todd McFarlane. That is yeah, correct. Todd, Todd we'll is get to him later. <laughs> so but, uh, that was an awesome experience. Yep. Uh, you also uh, you also had some uh, assists with uh, some Funko Pops, right? Uh, Toy Story. What's that? Then you have like an assist with some uh, Funko Pops. Yeah, so I'm a huge. Um, you're gonna make fun of me for this. I love that cartoon Avatar: The Last Airbender. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things ever. So they were doing an exclusive, um, an exclusive Funko of the Cabbage Man from the show, and I always walk by that Funko booth, and I'm like, wow, I'm really glad I'm not one of those people waiting on that line to do it. And lo and behold, I won the, um, I won the contest to get online at 10 a.m. on Thursday. So basically what they do is they have the line start, which starts at like 9 or 9.30, before anybody's even allowed in, which is ridiculous. And then you get to wait online for like an hour and buy your Funkos. So 
I wasn't going to do that. So a buddy of mine who's really into the Funkos, I gave him my um, I gave him my winning ticket, and he went early. He was able to get in early, and he picked me up my Cabbage Man, and he got all whatever he wanted. So good for me. <laughs> and that, that's pretty cool that they allow you to with that with that winning lottery ticket. They they allow you to get anyone you want, right? As much any, as you any want. Funko you mean? Yeah. You could buy one of each. One of each. And how many yeah. do they have? They had thirty something. Jesus. Yeah. All That's... I know is he spent about twelve hundred dollars on all of them. Uh, do, you, yeah. uh, do you want to share the name of your friend? Uh, I don't know if he would like me to, so I'm not going to. There you go. So he bought <laughs> okay. one of each. He bought one of each. Yeah, he but he bought one of each, That's and cool. um, it was hysterical because I you're not supposed to like really you know. Actually, no, I'm not going to talk about that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's very okay. cool. Yeah, I, I got my don't, cabbage, man. I'm very Don't happy. worry. Everybody's doing the same thing, so you probably could talk about yeah, it. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want it on record. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I also had some fun at the Marvel booth. A, uh, so the Marvel booth, I really just wanted the uh, John Tyler Christopher uh, Spider Force. Uh, what the heck was it called? I should have wrote that down, too. Uh, Spider Force X or something like that. Oh, it's a pretty cool um, cover. Whatever. It was a it was a Spider Woman uh cover. It was um John Tyler Christopher. It's like a fluorescent, I think it was described. Strike, uh, sorry, Strike Force number one variant, uh, by John Tyler Christopher. It was really it was limited to twenty five hundred. The only thing I wanted on the on, at the Marvel booth, I literally was the cap. I was the last person online, and then like some other guy, kind of like. Finn eagled his way onto it too, but then after that they were turning people away, saying, you know, come back at like twelve o'clock or whatever. And um, so while we were there, you guys saw there was um there was like a Visa Mastercard like Marvel credit card sign up, and I was like, oh, I noticed they had the exclusive um Todd Nock Black Pan- Panther cover, and I was like, oh, I was like, I'm pretty sure you can get that if you're you know a, a Marvel Unlimited member. Like, oh no, it's that that's another book. It's not this one. I was like. I'm pretty sure it is. And then like two other guys came up and they're like, oh, these guys told us to come over here. They said, these are the unlimited books. And they're like, oh, he's like, all right, let me check. Like, I'll go over there. And like, he's like, yeah, you're right. Like, you know, these are your books. And, you know, so I was like, well, if they got it, like I was standing right there, I'm going to get it too. And then you guys got your um, Todd Knock yeah. Black Panther exclusives for, you know, all the Marvel Unlimited members. And um and when that ordeal was already done, I was like, I noticed those two guys who had come over in the line decided to go in front of where I was standing. Mm-hmm. So I obviously didn't let that happen. I maybe caused a little bit of scene. I was like, hey, buddy. I was like, you know, I kind of shoved him out of the way. He didn't care for that. Uh, he's like, you didn't push. He's like, he's like, why are you putting your hands on me? I was like, dude. Did you like, literally? Did you literally you. shove him? I didn't shove him. I like kind of brushed him back. Like I didn't like push him. He's like, oh, you put your hands on me. I was like, trust me, you know if I put my hands on you. Uh, but a little, a little, uh, a little um, words were exchanged, and uh, someone noticed, and other people on the line called the guy out and his friend, and they. What did he say? Him. Like, what's he saying to this as you're accusing him? Um, he he just keeps telling me to calm down, and I said, you need to stop talking to me because <laughs> I was like, pretty soon you're not gonna hear, you're not gonna be talking anymore. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't want to get into the, uh, the actual, uh, words that were said, but I, uh, I explained to the guy that I had no problem with this being the end of both our games here. (laughs) (laughs) And if anybody knows TC, he's a big guy. Like he's tall, like very, very intimidating. Um, so yeah, I, uh, he eventually got off the line, but, uh, that was the end of the negative part of it. It was a long line. It didn't move very quickly. I don't understand why. I guess people were buying so much that it was just moving very slowly. But I wound up, uh, the guy who actually finagled his way onto the line, his name was actually Brett Parks. And he owns, uh, it's called Sailfish Comics, but it's with S-S-A-L-E-F-I-S-H Comics. And he owns uh, about like three different shops in... Um, in the North Carolina area. I think the main shop is in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Really cool guy, really nice guy. Um, if Most people might recognize the name of the shop from when they did the Batman 50 variant covers. There was one that was done by Josh 
uh, Joshua Middleton, and it looked very Audrey Hepburn like. And I remember ordering those. I was like, oh, yeah, like that was, I told him, I was like, by far, those are my favorite variants. He goes, yeah, you know, those did well for us. He's actually talking about opening a third store. But, um, yeah, we, we got to talking, really nice guy. Um, you know, hopefully we uh, keep in contact. Maybe we can do something in the future. Uh, maybe we, uh, you know, get together if we ever make it to Heroes Con. Uh, but he said they're doing actually a small con at, um, at one of his stores or like a little uh, – like um, shopping center or something like that. It's called Twin City Comic Con. If we have actually any listeners in North Carolina or anyone who's going to go to North Carolina, this is going to be uh, on Sunday, April nineteenth. Cool, uh, very cool. That's yeah, cool. So uh, n- nice guy to know. Um, he gave me his card, so uh, I'll be able to uh, reach out to him if you know we ever want to talk to him about anything. Oh, that'd be but cool. uh, yeah, that was cool. And then uh, I wound up getting uh, two of those um, John Tyler Christopher. Uh, Spider Woman covers. I got one for JJ. He yeah, still didn't yeah. take it, so it's in my house. Nice. <laughs> and uh, that was it for the for the Marvel booth. And uh, then then what we do? We we we, we, we were, rolled around a little bit, right? We yep. wound up going to Artist Alley. Yeah, visited a few of our buddies there. Yeah. Um, JJ. So we got a couple other books too. JJ, you got um the uh, books from Billy Tucci, right? Yeah, so I I picked up uh, I bought these before the con I paid for them before the con but they were his um, his limited edition um, the amazing she it was the um, the 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 homage the twenty fifth anniversary of yeah she, the twenty fifth right? right it was the homage to the, so is it a reprint reprint of the original issue it's no it's it's his issue but it's done with the same type of paper as the Spider Man three hundred the, uh, the so this t- is a new uh, a new story it's a new story. Uh, cool. You know, I didn't actually read it yet. I haven't even opened it up. I don't. I don't okay, know the okay. answer to that. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't open these up. But you so got a regular and a metal cover. I've got the metal right? cover. Yeah, with the metal covers, beautiful. I mean, it's that's uh, really cool. And it, the metal cover is different. It, it's the same issue, but he did the metal covers a little bit differently. Um, he actually gave me n- number two of thirty. So these are each numbered to thirty. Um, it's just oh, that's a, awesome. It's a beautiful cover. And then the uh, and just a normal version cover is, is actually quite stunning also, uh, but yeah, thanks to Billy for these. Um, you know they're uh, b- very happy with them. Yeah, they're really nice. Nice. Yeah, I wound up getting uh, the Joshua Middleton. Cover. You, do you got that one today too, Jim? Which one's that? Uh, the the Harley. I did. And, uh, I did. And Ivy. Yep. Yeah. So they had a, a virgin and a, a regular cover of Harley uh, Poison Ivy number one. Uh, Joshua Middleton uh, Midtown exclusive. Uh, I saw that one. Really like that one. So it's pretty cool uh, looking. I, I it's uh, I like it. Yeah, we both picked it up. I I, I love the cover. I love the old costume too. Yeah, when it's done right. Uh, Harley in that old um like kind of like jester costume is is really cool. Yeah, this is. I'm digging this one. I I uh, struck out on the first day with the. Uh, hallmark but um by the second day we'll get into that later i finally i finally got what i was looking for mm-hmm. nice but um the first day was pretty uh jam-packed in terms of artist alley i think uh i hit up the planet awesome collectible booth who i guess they kind of rep where they have some type of arrangement with tony daniel big fan of his work um He's probably one of my second or third favorite DC um, current artists right now. And uh, he had these mystery envelopes. I grabbed one today. I think, JJ, you grabbed – I grabbed one Thursday. JJ, you grabbed one Friday, right? Yep, today. Yep, and, Friday. And, um, yeah, I scored a cool Batman one. Uh, this was shared on Instagram already. Uh, JJ's hasn't – JJ's will be by the time this is released. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, mine was from Batman 693. I think it was page six, but it's an awesome, uh, like panel by, there's like about five panels on it. And the bottom one has like this awesome, uh, like headshot of black mask. Hmm. So that was really cool. What was the, what was the one you got JJ? So Since the one I got, about, the, I the, yeah, the one I got today, um, I, I scored, I scored on this one. I like this one. Um, so I've got a Superman issue 16 page one. Um, and again, this has got uh, five panels. Um, it's got two of the panels. Three of the panels got actually Superman in it. Uh, one is a full body Superman, kind of like crouched That's over. That's awesome. And um, 
the, the, the other two panels, I don't know what this guy is. I'm going to have to look this book up because I'm curious to know what this... Uh, what what book is it? Superman, issue 16, page 1. Cool. Um, I don't, is this... Is this is this the new Superman? I'm a little curious. Does it have a year or anything on it? It does not. On the top. And that's what's driving me bonkers. No, there's no there's no date or no no nothing on it. Yeah, it's, it's, it? it's, it's, it's number sixteen. Mm. So I'm gonna have to look, I'm gonna look for this book because um, now I'm curious. But uh, it's I I think I scored. I mean I got a it's Superman. It's probably new fifty two. I'll be honest with you. You think so? Because he was doing a lot of stuff on that on those back then. Because I, I, I have a, either an action or a Superman. Um, piece that he did as well. Yeah, I read this. I read the new Fifty Two, and I don't remember this page at all. But you know, it's it's that was a while ago. But it's it's stunning. Very very happy with my. So what's that? He'll be like, oh, that's from New Fifty Two Superman issue number fourteen, page seven. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah Bojo would say that. So yeah, I want to find out who this villain is. So the um, I, I don't even know what order I'm going to do this in, but I uh, so I don't know how many people are familiar with Mirka and Dolfo. Uh, most recently she's done uh, the book Unnatural by Image. She does the art on that. I don't, I'm not sure if she's a writer. I think someone else might be the writer on it, but I love her art. Uh, first time I came across her, I was actually reading a Wonder Woman comic um, about three years ago, probably at this point. And I'm like, oh man, like this, whoever drew this Wonder Woman is amazing. I was like, I looked at the name, it was like Mirka and Dolfo. I was like, like, I got to look this person up on social media. So I did. Like, I contacted her on Twitter. I realized she's, you know, Italian. She actually lives in Italy all year round. She only comes to um, the States, I think, twice a year. I think she does Emerald City and New York only. So two years ago, I tried to get um, a piece of artwork from her and as a commission and just couldn't do it. She was jam-packed. Um, but she's with Comic Sketch Art, so... I was able to do a pre-con commission this year, and you guys um, have already. Dude, started. I love those. <laughs> What's that? They're they're so like easy. <laughs> I mean, the pre-con stuff. I mean, as much as like I. Hate it was the ready whole... when you got there on Thursday. Yeah, it, it's true. As much as I hate that whole um like you know art rep business, um I feel like it's very you know, it's it makes it a lot harder on the fans sometimes i mean this was really really convenient i mean does it though because you don't have to run that because remember, remember two years ago when you were running there and you didn't make it in time um well no i don't specifically mean like for stuff like this um oh okay. think, That's, all right, yeah but um yeah it was just gorgeous she did a wonder woman for me um this i mean it lived up to the expectations i had and more so um to say that i was you know happy with it is completely an understatement and um I got another um, piece done on my jam. I, um, my boy, our boy Chris Campana, he was holding on to my jam since the last show that we went to, which was actually terrific. On so he had somebody else do it. Uh, there's there's something that needs to be fixed on it. We won't go into that, but um, Chris uh, had Alex Sebiak do um, the the craven on it which was super awesome and uh someone else did another character that needs to be adjusted but he he was nice enough to give it to ed mcginnis as soon as he got in on thursday and ed had kind of like you know started to work on it already so ed did the green goblin and it came out amazing i mean ed mcginnis is just like that guy's aces uh you know when i showed it to chris chris is like like he's just knows anatomy so well he just crushes like the way the, the anatomy sets and like, you know, when he pointed it out, I mean, like I obviously, you know, I have an appreciation for art, but I don't always see like those specific things. And he, like he you called it perfectly. And um, I also got on Thursday, my, so I had a Bob McLeod. So I have these three 24 hour blinks. Um, still have one with Buzz. Uh, he promises <laughs> that he's bringing it Saturday which uh, JJ is going to do me a solid and pick it up. He has my Batman. He did a Poison Ivy. Uh, but I had my Superman with me, and I decided to uh, have Alex Sinclair color the Lex Luthor, Bob McCloud, um, like kind of classic-looking war suit. And uh, it came out amazing. Again, I shared that. Um, Alex Sinclair, you know, he is the colorist. You know, he colors everything that, um, you know, Jim Lee does. He does, you know, 
the he follows up on like Scott Williams' inks. I'm sure like he does a ton of other books, and the guy's just amazing. But um, yeah, let's get back into uh, when we hit up the main floor. I think that was surprisingly all the art, uh, right? Um, I guess before we get into those books, we did pick up a couple pins too. Uh, our boys at uh, Royal Collectibles, they had an exclusive pin this year. Did we all get one? Matt, did you get one? Oh, yes, we did. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. It's a, it's a cool, nice uh, 2019 exclusive New York Comic Con Royal Collectibles spinner rack. Pretty big pin. It's, it's like, a big uh, pin. It's a big pin. It's got like those three punch holes. I think I don't even know what I would put that on, but uh, you know, it's it's gonna stay in the packaging for me anyway. Uh, it's my exclusive uh, bag. It says limited edition of two fifty made, so yeah, I got I got to keep it in the bag. And then um, we all, uh, as DC Universe members, we were able to get these exclusive Harley Quinn pins that have been released this week. As of now, um, we have three, Is that four correct? total, four. four. Four, that's right. Uh, we'll get into the, there was an exclusive one, an exclusive to an exclusive one <laughs> um, that was released on Friday that we were able to get a uh, fun event. We'll get into that in a little bit too. But um, let's get into, uh, so uh, Toy Story, you went on a little book hunt, right? I did. So I unexpectedly got that Todd McFarlane uh, wristband because I just, because we, again, we happened to find JJ when he was online, he was about to get them. So I was like, oh man. I got to go find a book because I came completely unprepared. Um, so what I really would have, my, my favorite McFarlane cover is Batman 423, which is one of like just a few Batman covers I think he's done. Um, but it's that orange book where Batman's standing in front of the sun and he has like the cape all out. It's really cool. So um, he's I found it. wrapped around some girl, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. And JJ has it because I didn't want to take it home on the train in the rain yesterday. I do? I have it? <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I found a copy. Tess, who did, who did I get it from? Uh, Fuel Family Comics. Yeah, I think his name is Gus. I, I don't want to say that for sure, but uh, Fuel's a good guy. We've, you know, you know, we've been doing this so long at this point. I think all of us have been in it five, six years, you know, consistently buying and stuff like that. Uh, so we've known him for a while. He always does right by us, um, with books, you know, um, he's kind of the guy, you know, as soon as we ask, he's like, yeah, he, he gives us, you know, kind of the best price right off the bat without even have to, you know, the back and forth, yeah. which, uh, which is nice. Yeah. So thank you for that. Um, and I found that maybe like 30 minutes before we had to go get on for the signing. Yeah, so I was really happy with that. Yeah. Um, during when you guys were uh, getting on that line, I tried to, uh, hit up that Hallmark uh, a booth again, and I got shut out. Uh, shut luckily, until Friday, <laughs> I finally got the uh, the exclusive uh, Spider. I only wanted one. It was the uh, the Iron Spider um, Marvel uh, Infinity Wars exclusive Hallmark ornament. It's uh, it's apparently metal and artist crafted, whatever that means. But uh, did you really, open it up yet? I haven't opened it up yet, but. Um, I will soon. Nice. And uh, maybe I'll take some pictures of that too. Very nice. You so probably have we went over to the top, right? Listen to this on Monday. What's that? I said you probably have already seen them if you listen to this on Monday. <laughs> there you go. So after that, we went over to Todd, right? Yeah, we went. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got back on. Uh, we got back on line. Uh, another line at uh, for his two o'clock signing. Yeah, like one. Yeah, we're in with our with our buddy Jimbo Slice and a. And another follower of Long Island Comic uh, Guys, we all, I, so I had met her briefly before, but Tropical Breeze Legita, I hope I've said that correctly, uh, she was with Jimbo Slice as well, and uh, we all kind of hung out until they finally uh, let the line move. And uh, Yeah, she was fun. Us. Yeah. She's a, she's a huge uh, Master of the Universe person and, uh, you know, into all kind of the same stuff we are, so. Uh, Dude, that signing was prompt at 2 o'clock. Yes, it was. I'm a... Uh, I, I'm pretty appreciative of that, considering I didn't, I wasn't getting anything signed. Yeah, I was more excited to see. For that. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, I I feel like both your stories are equally as awesome. Yeah. I'll go first because mine's a little what, less awesome. Yeah. No, I I don't know. I think they're both pretty. I awesome. think they're both yeah. pretty cool, man. So once yeah, you start off, Matt, since, since I, I was the cameraman in this situation during that live stream we did. <laughs> So I get this book, and if you guys know this this cover, um, so it's the big sun and Batman standing in front of it. There's two spots on the book where they forgot to ink in the yellow for the sun. Um, 
it's you you don't notice it unless you like know about it or look for it but um one part of it's orange and one part of it's white they just forgot to ink over it in yellow so we're talking about that and then i go up to get the book signed and i put it in front of him he said hi whatever and he signs it and then he points down and he points at the spot and he's like those mother effers forgot to ink this (laughs) it was hysterical and then tc's uh tc behind me says oh you should uh you should fill it in do you have a, you have a yellow marker? And he did, That's right? It now. <laughs> so he took he took out his little yellow. He's like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fix it now. <laughs> yeah. So he took out the yellow marker and he filled in those spots. It was awesome. It, it was classic. It was uh he it was he's such a nice guy to talk to and it's and it stinks that you have to like run through that line so quickly but. He generally seems like he likes interacting with the fans. He does. He uh, gives everybody, like, their own time. Yeah, and, you know, even though you're going through so quickly, even if it's, like, 10 to 15 seconds, you don't feel like, you know, that you were cheated during that time, really. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I feel like I'm really happy that he did that. That's um, awesome. That's I know like some a, people might not be so happy. That's a but... very one-of-the-kind piece. Yeah, uh, Jimbo Slice was, was very unhappy about it. Yeah, I, I personally could not care less. I, <laughs> I, think, I think it's really cool. Oh, I, I agree with you. I would be as ecstatic as you are about it. That's cool. Uh, but, JJ, you have another amazing piece so, to talk about. So my Pearl Jam poster is officially signed by Mr. Todd McFarlane. Um, this was such an incredible journey that I was that for that day, like carrying this post around. First of all, let's let's back up a little bit. Like here, I'm bringing a a poster, a, a concert poster from uh, the Pearl Jam uh, Copenhagen 2012 uh, show um, in a cardboard tube on a train into New York City while it's rainy. <laughs> And I started, I, I was freaked out a little bit because I just, I didn't want this thing to get wet. I didn't know what's doing it. it. It's not your typical size poster, you know, tube. It was, it was a lot uh, bigger than, you know, that they make these little protectors that you could put in. So I, I was a little, I was a little concerned about that. Um, but uh, carrying this thing online and I don't know if that the hand, I don't know if that woman that was with him was his wife or a handler, uh, but she was kind of taking the, you know, you had to have your stuff ready at when you got to her and kind of put it on the table and you know here i am with a big giant poster and uh as soon as i started unraveling she like started freaking out like i've never seen anything like this um if you have if you get a chance check it out it's on our uh, on our ig page and also facebook page but uh, it's a pretty- yeah it was uh it was cool that um she was very nice about it too considering uh all the meanness that we endured earlier in the day with the image booth it seemed like a lot of the people towards the end like when we were finally about to meet todd uh we're we're more jovial uh individuals yeah um so then you know i put this thing in front of todd and you know i I was trying to look for his reaction and there wasn't really much of a reaction um you know i started unraveling and there's there's two specific spots i i I wanted him to sign either sign and i kind of showed it to him he's like no 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 we 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 don't want to put it there we don't want to basically ruin that ruin the image and um Oh, uh, so he did that on purpose. He put it up there. Yeah, yeah, that was his, that was his call because I was like, well, where do you think we should put it? And uh, I was like, you know, and I, and I was like, well, what color, you know, pen? Because I brought two different color greens because this poster's got a lot of green in it. Um, and he's like, no, 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 no green. And he's like, I, I've got, I've got a, I've got a pen for this. And he went into his bag. He had, a, you know, a lot of pens on his, um, on his table. And he went into his bag and pulled out this. He had white, like every color, right? Yeah. But he pulled out this white like pen mark, like this paint marker. Uh, he's like, this thing works great. And it was white, and he did it at the top in the black section, and he did it nice and big, and it just it looks beautiful. And uh, I, you know, I did get to ask him, you know, you know, did he enjoy, you know, how did he enjoy doing this poster? He said it was it was a fun project. Um, he's a Pearl Jam fan, right? He is a Pearl Jam fan. So, like I said before, I think if you've listened to our other shows, he's done a Pearl Jam a poster. And he also did uh, do the evolution video. If you get a chance, check that video out. It's d- done 100% animated by Todd McFarlane. It's really cool. Um, um, awesome. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. And then he also did um, the Corn Freak on the Leash um, album cover. It's a little girl hanging over the edge, if you ever see that, of a cliff. That was his deal, too. But he said he I'm going to look that up right now. Yeah, go for it. Uh, he said he enjoyed doing this poster, and it's it's beautiful. I'm gonna post it again, but again, you know, I I gotta give it to you know Mr. Todd McFarlane. Uh, thank you so much 
Um, it was it was just such a pleasure to meet him. I've never met him before, um, and just to get his signature on, on something that I've that I've been wanting to work on. It was good. Yeah, you know what? That's a really cool like TC. You were saying this this morning that like you're a huge Pearl Jam fan and a huge comic fan, and there's something out there that's like a cross between both. Who would have thought? Right. How often? Yeah, those that... are those are kind of rare moments with uh, things that are not necessarily you would think are in the kind of like the same world. Although I mean. I... I think we kind of came to the same conclusion. It's like the geek and comic world are really kind of expanding past, like you know, the old, uh, you know, nomenclatures or whatever the word is about, um, you know, preconceived notions of who is a comic fan. I mean, there's still, you know, that, uh, you know, quintessential comic fan that you'd expect to see. But you know, you go to New York Comic Con especially, and uh, and I don't even think it's you know um, limited to that. I mean, we've said this so far, like I, the. My favorite thing about New York Comic Con is literally you can find people from all walks of life. And it's just like, I love that everybody is a comic fan to some degree. Like, there's almost every race, religion, creed who who, you, who has comic fans in it, which is really cool. To yeah. Me. Right. You know, I was thinking about this, too. I was, you know, looking at the poster and all that. And I could probably count on, I, I bet you any amount of money, he's never signed one of these posters at a Comic Con. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, so that's something really cool to bring him. I mean, I mean, the the girl that was working with him, um, you know, we, we we have to definitely mention this. She uh she thought it was pretty cool. I had noticed, you know, uh, Toy Story the pictures you took that she actually took a photo of that, and I told. Uh, Is that when you checked this? When you went and checked the story? Well, actually, Jimbo Slice um, saw it first, so he shared it with me. But right before that, I was actually looking because because uh, I was like. I was like, whoever this person is probably runs his social media. I was like, we've got to check because I'm pretty sure your post is going to be on Todd McFarlane's, uh, uh, you know, he, I thought he was going to post it, but he actually put it into his story, which was cool too. Uh, we shared that, but um, that was awesome. That Yeah, you know, it's, I'm excited that, that. I, that I made his story, that Todd McFarlane's story on IG. So, it's, it was so cool. um, are you going to try and get that uh, – that other guy to sign it? Was there another guy on You know, uh, Max242 is the other artist on it. Um, I don't, you know, I, I don't I know much. I kind of like it just with Todd's on it. Yeah, I don't want it. Yeah. It's, I'm done with it. Because I'm going to get into this perpetual, you know, we're taking it out, getting it signed, putting it back, taking it out, getting it signed, put, you know, I, I don't want to do that. It's done. I just wanted Todd McFarlane. I'm, I'm yeah, happy. It was, cool. it was cool we got other people to, uh, like, since we did it live, other people got to see that too, which was awesome. Yeah. Really wish that. Because I, I know I got a lot of couple of oohs and ahs that were behind me. I heard of a couple of them. <laughs> so, That's uh, funny. It's, I'm happy with it. It's going to go back into the framer because the framer still has the frame that it's going to go right back in and hung somewhere. And it's done. Yeah. I think, I think after that, we kind of wrapped up on the mean floor for the most part, but then we were harassing all our buddies back on um, the uh, the main, uh, the artist alley. What do you guys, and before we move on to Friday, what do you guys think in terms of crowd-wise uh, for Thursday? More packed than ever, I thought. That was the yeah, most, I, most Thursday pack, yep. It was I so packed. Two, two years ago, I felt like it was really packed. I think today, at moments it got really bad too but thursday especially on that main floor i didn't want to be up there like most of my time on thursday i spent towards the back where there was a little bit more breathing room in artist alley but um yeah thursday was crazy i i think and, it, and we heard it from everyone too and you got to figure thursday was not sold out there was, it wasn't there were still tickets no. available for thursday so that tells you something like it felt really, really bad yesterday, but it wasn't sold out. I mean, anyone who is a comic fan hasn't been, you know, to New York Comic Con. If you live in like this area or you ever wanted to go, it's an experience, I would say, to at least try to do it once. But it's just so crowded. I mean, if you're looking to buy comic books, it's probably a good idea. But like meeting artists and like artist alley and, and the thing that sticks stinks is some of the like foreign uh, creators don't really come to anything else other than one show a year. So if you really want to meet like one of those people, this is probably your only show. But it's just it's just so packed and it's loud and it's it's really hard to like have that enjoyable con experience. I, I apologize for boring you, uh to story. <laughs> uh now I'm yawning from how tired I am from this show. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, our no, show it's, or, it's, or it's, it's a lot for sure. No, he's talking yeah, about New York. He's tired from New York Comic Con, not our show. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a huge venue too. There's a lot of walking around. My legs are killing me. It's uh, a lot of up and down. You know, it's intense. Yep. You know, it's not just really the crowd nice. bumping into people, taking ten minutes to go down an aisle and order Sally. Yeah, I mean, back. ten minutes to go down, you know, ten feet. Yeah. And there, there's a line, and, and there's a line for everything. No matter what you want to do, if you want to go to the bathroom, if you want to eat, if you want to get a drink, there's a line. I feel like I'm at Disney World. Yeah, yeah dude. And it's worse. It's there's sad. no fast pass. It's crazy. You're you're right. <laughs> well, some of them, they are giving fast passes now. That's what the whole thing is with the cards and come back at twelve oh. o'clock. <laughs> Honestly, if I if it wasn't a quick thirty minute train ride away, I don't know if I would go. Um. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you know especially with what we're doing now, you know, we're trying to be part of this thing. I feel like we almost have to go every year now because yeah. last year I didn't go. Um, I need a break from it, but you yeah. also skipped last year. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're in this one guys. Yeah. So I think like, I think eventually we'd like to maybe even exhibit there, but I don't Everybody know if there yet. Yeah. But <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely down the line. Cool deal. But, uh, let's not linger too long on that. Let's uh, let's jump into Friday now. And then we went I think home. Yep. Today, in terms of like Long Island comic guys, don't feed the geeks. This was my most exciting day about what we did. Yeah. So we started off the day. So as DC Universe uh, subscribers and like premium members or whatever we are, I don't know what the official term is. Uh, we had the opportunity to go to a breakfast with DC Daily's Clark Wolf. Uh, I was unaware that Clark Wolf was not a person. Uh, was not. A, it is a person. Was not a person. It, was, it was not a gentleman. It was a a, a young lady. Uh, I'm full disclosure. I've never watched the DC Daily, <laughs> but um, I may actually watch it now because it seems uh, pretty cool. We heard a little bit about it, and uh, it was a really nice spread. Uh, it was more than a, I was expecting. Kind of like you know, uh, stiff uh, beagles and. Uh, Maybe some old muffins, but yep. it was really nice. This uh, was fully had catered. Hot foods, wraps, um, you know, fruit. donuts and fresh fruit, coffee. It was uh, it was really really nice uh, spread they put out there. Water we also and got Red Bull. An additional and Red Bull Sorry. too. <laughs> what did you say? And Red Bull, water and Red Bull. Yeah, they had Red Bull Crazy. water. Um, there was also a sixth exclusive Harley Quinn pin uh, that we were able to get. It was. Um, She's got her pigtails up instead of down <laughs> on this one. And um, so upstairs from there, so we got a chance to um, talk with uh, Clark Wolf. And, you know, we told her um, some of the things that we liked, you know, some of the things we think could be improved in terms of uh, the DC Universe platform and the app. And, uh, you know, we took a quick picture with her, told her what we did, you know, gave her a Long Island Comic Guy sticker. Yep. And, uh, you know, also in this building, which was open to everyone, not just DC Universe um, subscribers, was the Harley Quinn Gallery. at the. So this was called DC Headquarters. And when we got up there, we saw her in hair and makeup. They were doing, I, I don't know if it was open to everyone, but they were doing something for uh, Amanda Connor. And Matt, lo and stop behold, it, we saw somebody on the side. Matt, stop uh, it. Sorry? Matt, stop. No, sorry. That, we, we heard all that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I muted myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we saw someone on the side uh, doing some artwork. I noticed it was Jimmy Palmiotti. And uh, we, we've run into Jimmy a couple times. And, uh, I, you know, um, he's good friends with Billy Tucci. And I just told him, I was like, hey, you know, I don't know if, you know, we've, we've met before. You know, kind of Billy has introduced us to him. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like... He's like, I know he, he's actually been trying to uh, work something out for an interview. Hopefully you'll hear that eventually soon. We're, we're still working on something uh, for Jimmy Palmiati. But out of nowhere, as we were walking around, he kind of came over after briefly speaking to him and gave us pretty much a guided tour was, of the but, whole uh, gallery. That was very cool. Which was amazing. And not just the gallery, you know, he gave us some, a little um, background information on what was going on with the uh, with the um, the and, cartoon that was just announced yesterday? I believe that's dropping November 29th. Yep, is that correct? That is correct. And uh, Kelly Kuoko um, from Big Bang Theory is on there. We talked a little bit about you know how their art was used on that show. 
Uh, he was taking us through some of the different pieces, you know, some that Amanda did, some that were inspired by Amanda's artwork. The fact that they're finally coming back to uh, Harley Quinn, not only um, the black label title, but they're also going to be on the main title again, which is awesome. Uh, I think he accidentally slipped and may have mentioned that I think they're in the Harley, the new Harley Quinn movie. No, he. So he, I don't know. I don't know if you guys caught that, but I think Jimmy and Amanda might be in the Birds of Prey. No, I th- I think he was. Oh well, because hmm. so, I know he was talking about the uh, being in the background of the animation. Yeah, he said he because he told us about that, uh, but I don't know. We'll we'll see. I guess we'll have to go and see that movie after all. But um, <laughs> Jimmy was amazing to us. Um, I don't know if it was because we were from Long Island or <laughs> we were Billy's friends, but. He uh, he definitely went above and beyond. You know, we were able to share that live with um, a bunch of you guys. If you checked it out, I think you could still probably maybe check it out. Um, but it was really cool, and um, probably the high, the, definitely the highlight of my day today. Yeah, that was yeah. awesome, yeah, guys. So but somebody, yeah, was, somebody, somebody, that was are... a great step forward for Don't Feed the Geeks and Learn Comic Guys. There you <laughs> yeah. go. So. D- if if I'm not sure if you mentioned any of this, but they had a lot of the animation, the the the, the, the cells from the animation up on the walls. Yeah. yeah, they had a lot of Amanda's drawings. And some stuff. of her drawings and some of the drawings, I guess she was doing for the actual drawers of the animation because she's not drawing. Yeah, so she's doing the character design, and then the animators take her design and animate right. the show. Yeah, um, so they had both. It was really cool. And then there was some cool old animation from, I guess, the original. Um, from the, the animated Batman series. Adventure. Yeah, from the animated series of yeah. Bruce Timm and um, I always forget the other guy's name. Bruce Timm oh, and uh, Paul Dini. Paul Dini, yeah. Yeah, so that was cool to see. And then they had some props from the Birds of Prey movie, like her roller blade, her roller skates, um, some hand grenades, um, f- fur co- fuzzy brass knuckles. <laughs> yeah, fur fur covered brass knuckles. Yeah. Um, they had her bat and her mallet, uh, her uh, her hammer. Um, and then it was really cool to see the Huntress crossbow, which was pretty yes. cool to see. Yeah, that was cool. Um, so yeah, they I actually would have loved to have taken that home. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, but uh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was that was awesome. You know, we spent most of our uh, time there, and then we very casually walked into New York Comic Con after uh, it had opened. Much better experience than uh, the first day. Yeah, <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah, it really was. And uh, so we, we pretty much hit the ground running as soon as we finally got into uh, the Javits Center. Um, I, I went back, I ran back to Hallmark. You guys ran over to uh, the heavy metal thing. What were you, what were you trying to get, uh, Toy Story? I don't even know if they I saw these, They were supposed to, so they, they put out a lot of like the, um, obviously heavy metal, but they do a lot of music stuff. So they were supposed to have these exclusive Iron Maiden posters. I got an email about them. And the lady yesterday told me they'd be in today. I go in this morning. She's like, oh, we'll have them in an hour. I go back five hours later, and she's like, oh, we didn't get them. <laughs> so I was a little pissed off, but it's all right. <laughs> yeah, especially when you announce it. And it, is it wasn't it on the exclusive, the no, long, uh, the New York Comic Con exclusive list? Yeah, it was on the email. I showed them, and they were like, just as, like surprised. <laughs> and they didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> I, hate, I hate crap like that. Yeah, I know. So that just turned me off. I'm not even going to try and buy them now. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah, so after I finally got the uh, ticket or whatever to um, get the um, the exclusive Spider-Man ornament, which when I went there, I was very concerned because I was like the last person online for a while. I did get it, uh, like I said before, though. Uh, we went around and we did kind of a lot of live streams, you know, letting people see a bunch of stuff. We uh, we hit up the arcade uh, one-up booth. Well, be- before we finally... Re- before What's we hit, the, before we went there, we went to uh, Sideshow Collectibles. Did we do that? We, we did, did that, that first thing. Right? Went up first. Nope, we went to Sideshow first. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess we hit that up first. <laughs> uh, they had a bunch of uh, their new stuff out, as always. You know, we're I'm a big statue guy. I mean, anyone who's seen some of my posts, uh, I have too They're many. Awesome. I, I, I don't, don't want to get into the them. number of how many I have, but I have a lot. Uh, a lot of them are sideshow, and um, they're just amazing. So we uh, we shared that. We live streamed it. We got the exclusive pin, uh, the New York Comic Con pin. It's uh, what is it like a Statue of Liberty slime thing sticking its tongue out? Yeah. 
That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Apparently, it's already selling for about twenty-five dollars on eBay. <laughs> yeah, this one's That's not mine. I'm not. It's not mine. I swear. I'm not selling mine. I like these things. That's cool. But they they got some great looking statues coming out. Or oh, yeah, out now. Ready. What's that? TC, Dude, I went to the I went to the post office. On the, I went to the post office on the way home to ship it. I figured, <laughs> I figured that's why I had to get out of there so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they uh, could... yeah, they they had a lot of great stuff. I, do uh, did anything stand out to you specifically? I uh, like sideshow. Yeah. There was there was a lot of it. I mean, but the 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 Mandalorian stuff looks pretty cool. Yes. Uh, they got those out. Uh, I I I guess I was aw- I made I was made aware of. Instead of an IG88, it was an IG11. I I don't. I'd like to know what the difference is between those two. Uh, but they had an IG11. Um, uh, we'll probably find out. Yeah. Right. Uh, but yeah, mo- the 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 Star Wars stuff looked pretty good. The Mythos um, looked really good. The Star Wars Mythos. The only problem is the Obi Wan one. The Obi Wan. Yeah, they looked nice, but they were just they were too small. Yeah, they're a little small. The Hot Toys. Yeah. Good stuff though. What about you? What about, what about you, uh, Toy Story? You see anything? You that, yeah, that Heath Ledger Joker uh, premium format where he's sitting on the thing, on the chair with the cell gel cell behind him. It's so nice. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh my god, that's what that's one of my favorite things they've they've done in a while. Very cool. Yeah. What about you, TC? Um, I was trying to remember which ones were theirs because we went and saw so many different. <laughs> booths and uh i think there was a was there a spider-man one that they had that was kind of a little different i could be uh i could be thinking oh that was the, yeah that was the one from the game right you were telling me to uh, uh that was a, that was actually P, pcs collectibles i think they're actually the first ones i went over to they had uh they had an awesome one from the uh the spider-man game uh and then that along with those like ninja turtle ones there was oh I remember the one I liked the most that Starfire. Oh, I, that's right, that's right. I have a feeling you know retroactively that Starfire is going to wind up being uh being in my collection. Unfortunately, the Batgirl they did was uh was pretty amazing too. Uh, I do agree with uh, Toy Story that uh that Heath Ledger was awesome. It's like him sitting in the jail doing like the clapping motion, and they had like some Iron Man giveaway that was also like ridiculous looking along with that sick looking gambit so um That's cool. you know as always you know sideshows stuff's pretty awesome and then they had that really cool um guardians of the galaxy uh stan lee the little one in here uh, in the ash oh where he's in the where he's in the um the underwater suit right yeah and the, you know and then next to that i think there was the uh the captain america holding the thor hammer and the shield which was uh you know awesome yeah that's cool. And then uh, I think actually from there, you're right. We did go to the arcade one up. Um, There's a lot of stuff there. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I only cared about the one thing there, and that's the uh, TMNT uh, boxes. Uh, they are four player, and they will be mine. It they that, looked amazing. Cool. That is all. <laughs> you, are you gonna head out to Walmart tomorrow and try to track one down? Um, no. Really. No, I'm, I'm not going out of my way. I, I'll, I'm going to get it eventually. I'll probably, I probably get it like November, December at this so, point. So, just, so, sh- just so our listeners know, these, uh, the, the, t- the turtles were released uh, for pre-order on the uh, their website, the Arcade One's website. Uh, well, yesterday... no, no, not on their website. I think you had to order. Oh, from oh Walmart, sorry, correctly. Walmart. The Walmart's website yeah. was yesterday. It was released. It was they were put up yesterday for a pre-order yesterday, and they were sold out within hours. Um, so you can't even get them. The only time you can get them now is actually if you can find one in a store. They'll have like very limited ones, right? Yeah. Limited amount. But it looks amazing. And then they had yeah, the, uh... it's. I think it's the classic uh, turtle arcade game, and then the turtles in time game. Yep. Yep. And then um, I got to check out the Star Wars one that's that's coming out in November, which I've which I've pre-ordered, um, and it looks better than I imagined. I, I I I you know when they were talking about you know some of the features of it, you know having a lighted marquee, the sound and everything like that, you you, you kind of visualize it and you don't you know you can't fully appreciate it until you see it. And my God, it blew me away. So I'm very excited about that. So money well spent. But absolutely, you know, I. I 
I think what I spent five hundred bucks on it. Like that's it's a lot of money. Like that's a lot of money for this machine. But now I now I understand why because there's the the lighted marquee. I mean, it's just it looks it's beautiful. It just it lights up and it's just like a real you know arcade machine. That's very cool. I'm I'm excited to come over and play it. And then they, yeah, <laughs> come on over. And then they've got the uh, they've got two different tabletops now. Um, one is has six different games and the other has got twelve. Um, Again, those are 500, but these are now, you know, they've got tabletop games, two-player, you know, head-to-head, um, and it, it switches back and forth, which were pre- pretty cool to see. Um, and then they had the uh, the little barcade machines, these tiny little ones that sit right on top of a counter. A uh, little too, so cute. They're yeah. a little too small, I think, for the price point yeah. compared to the bigger machines. I mean, um, they were only 100 bucks less than the full stand-up ones. Um and they only came with one game. Uh, some of them came with two. So, oh, yeah. Like the Pac one, the Pac Man one I was playing with was two different Pac Man games. Okay. Um, the, yeah, the one up just Pac Man. Yeah, the one with the rollerball on it, it had um, Missile Command and Centipede. If they would have had one with Joust, I would have walked away with it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that one yet. Maybe maybe it's on the on the roadmap. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, very <laughs> cool. Very excited about these machines coming out. <laughs> I think after that we uh, we actually headed over to uh, Best and did some live uh, streaming from there. Uh, they had great books this year. I mean, uh, Tommy over at Best, uh, he he kind of outdid himself so with those displays. You know, they look great with um, all those LED lights oh, showing that new collection that they got in. You know, the statues always looking good. Uh, you know, Ozzy and uh, you know John and everyone really rocking the booth out this year. I think Jimbo Slice was uh, helping thursday but um yeah they they kind of had awesome stuff i think a lot of those big books whatever didn't leave thursday a lot of them left to friday and i'm sure uh we're gonna keep, hear even more saturday and sunday uh wound up flying yeah i'm excited to see today. what's still there yeah yeah i'm looking at i'm actually looking at the video feed from earlier and two of those books i already know aren't there <laughs> so that's actually pretty funny nice. that's cool but um, yeah, from there. Uh, did we do some book shopping after yeah, that? Yeah, that, that's kind of what think we did. We did, yeah. So we picked up some nice booths. We actually, uh, funny enough story, we we ran into uh, one of our listeners. So uh, I, I I apologize. I'm not sure if you gave us your name or not, but um, we appreciate that you listened to us and uh, came over and said hello. It's uh, it's nice to actually meet people who uh, we don't know that uh, listen to our show. Yeah, very exciting. Yep, very yeah. cool. But yeah, after that we uh, we did do some book shopping around. So we we did. Uh, um, who wants to say what they got? Uh, you want to start off? Uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> Toy Story. Yeah, you, uh, I only got one uh, book. Yeah, so um, I have fifty four Spider Man books left to get. Um, so today I picked up Amazing Spider Man number ninety six, which is one of the three drug issues they call them. So it's. Um, it's uh so due to the nature of the story or whatever they weren't approved by the comics code authority so they don't have that little stamp on the top corner and they printed them anyway yep so yeah. there's three of them 96 97 and 98 so i got 96 yeah uh, those are cool nice yeah, picked that up from best so thank you tommy very cool yes i would have picked up some of my stuff from best as well but unfortunately they don't they didn't have any spideys under the threshold i'm looking for yeah so before the show, I needed 19 Spideys to uh, fill my full collection. Um, I'm sure even though that's a little less than half of Toy Stories, they're a lot larger price points than the ones Toy Stories are missing. <laughs> so I'm sure he's going to finish his before I finish mine. Yeah, but mine's but, annoying because they're, fill- they're all filler stuff that I have to find. You know? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to go to eBay. Because that ruins the fun. <laughs> right. Yeah, I get that. I, I'm, I've kind of become a point. I mean, that's, I mean, aside from one of the books I got today, it was, it was the same thing too. I got a, so I actually got all of these from Reese's Rare Comics. Uh, they're actually really awesome. I don't know if you guys ever shopped there. They have a ton of huge books and keys. I mean, like their collection, what they get is ridiculous. I think not too long ago they had like a nine six first printing. Of the original TM, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book, I think that's like a thirty thousand dollar comic book, and they have like all different stuff like that. That's but um, they have 
they have a little bit of everything. I mean, you flip through a box, you'll find one or two copies of something you're looking for, especially something like Spider-Man or, you know, something popular like that. But um, I found like 20 books I needed. I just didn't want to spend the money today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you probably made this sort of the right move. Yeah. I uh, So I picked up uh, Amazing Spider-Man 32. So this one's kind of like very mid bf ish uh, it has a, a little bend in the middle, but it's it's not really a key book. I think like other than like that bend, and you know it does break a little bit of color. I'm I'm happy with it. The book's pretty solid. Otherwise, uh, I paid you know a great price on it, especially for you know a, a double digit uh, number on a Spidey book. Uh, the biggest book I bought today was definitely the Amazing Spider-Man uh, 42, which is considered the first full appearance of Mary Jane, which is probably my favorite Spider-Man character of all time. Uh, I'll probably eventually wind up getting a super high grade on this, but this is probably, this the one I got today was probably in the six, seven range. A uh, really nice copy. I had a chance to get like a seven, five uh, graded Johnny Romita one. It was just a lot higher price point than I wanted. I'd rather just probably get a higher grade one down the line. For, uh, without the signature, and yeah, then just uh, what's that? I agree. Yeah, good idea. that was a good idea. And then um, I got another forty-four again, like you know, high mid-range. Uh, it's not really a huge key. I think it's the second appearance of the lizard, which is funny because I think his first appearance is six. So it's actually a long time before you see uh, another appearance by the lizard. But um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that was a pretty reasonably priced as well. And um, I think the only other book I got today was um, so Mad Cave uh, Comics. They did a they do a book uh, called Battle Cats, and they had like a black and white sketch uh, variant for exclusive New York City Comic Con uh, edition. So uh, that was the other book I got. Very nice. Very cool. Yeah. So happy to be down to uh, sixteen books now for my full uh, Spidey run. Closing the gap. And I'm going to take some of those, uh, the ones that I want from uh, uh, Toy Story's collection. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to time that uh, time that smartly though. <laughs> uh, did we talk about um, XM yet? No. Oh, so, we didn't get we didn't talk about JJ's books. JJ, what did you get? Well, thanks. Appreciate that. Sorry, um, I, I I'm sorry. No, nah, you're fine. It's um, been a long day. Yeah. So my first pickup was um, the guys over at uh, from Torpedo Comics. Um, I don't know. Are you really nice you? guys? They're uh, they're out in Vegas. Those guys. Oh, are they really? Yeah, I think one of the guys. I don't know. It might have been the guy that sold you that book. I think one of them was in like some rock band, isn't it? Matt, don't you know this? Torpedo Comics. Like one of the guys at, at Torpedo Comics is a drummer for some like. Project. Oh, is that the guy from um, ah, uh, uh, System of a Down? I, I don't know. I wish I, I would have known that. Because he was, uh, they had some guys in the store the other day. I think it was like, it might have been like Jim yeah. Lee and like oh Tom gosh. King. And he has like a bunch of like drums in the store that have like all super famous artist uh, artwork on them. Oh, man. So Don Dolman from System of a Down. He's oh, a I, wish, I wish I would have known that beforehand. That's cool. I, didn't I think that's where you the got guy it. who actually sold Jim the book. Wow. Huh. I'm pretty sure it is, but. Well, I have to see what it looks like. Was so, it, was, was it this guy? Yeah, that was him. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's, that's funny. I wish I would have known that. I didn't even know you got it from there. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh, see, I'm gonna have to go back there again tomorrow. <laughs> um, so I think I actually is a uh, Billy Martin. Is he in Good Charlotte? Billy Martin is a. Uh, I think he's a musician. I think I bought uh, a Darth Vader sticker from him. Oh, cool. I think he's an artist as well. <laughs> So yeah, uh, so going back to these guys, um, I picked up. Um, I didn't know it at the time; it was a key because um, I just I liked the cover. I kind of made a beeline to it, but it was uh, uh, Showcase uh, Thirty One. Uh, it's uh, Aquaman and uh, Aquaman and Aqualad book. Uh, but what it is, it's um, turns out it's the second full solo issue featuring Aquaman, um, nineteen sixty one. So. Um, he gave me a good price on it. I that was the reason why I picked it up. So I I acted on it so quickly. Um, I just walked in the booth. I looked at it, and I said, "Listen, I'll um I'll be back. I, I just want to I just want to walk around more." He's like, "Well, here, I'll take this much off of it. It's yours. But if you come back, it's gonna go back up." So I was like, "I'm done. I'll buy it." 
Did he give you like thirty percent off? Uh, yeah. That's insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it was very, really cool of them. Really nice. Um, so this one is in my collection now. Um, awesome. Showcase thirty one. Awesome, awesome. Um, and then I picked up uh, from Best. I, I I was looking around more, so I'm trying to. I'm. I started my uh, my run of Aquaman, Volume One. Uh, but I was able to fill a couple more. And so I bought four from Best, from Tommy. Uh, issue number 42, 45, 55, and 60. Uh, but, you know, I, I I did screw up. Number issue 45, I do have duplicates of that. So um, I need to look at my, my CLZ app before I start buying. So I screwed up there. But now I have two issues of number 45. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> But uh, I'm on my way uh, for, you know, I am on my way to uh, start my run or finishing my run. That's going to be awesome. So pretty happy with it. So that guy is a uh, member of good, the band Good Charlotte. He is. That uh, guitarist, uh, keyboardist. Was that nice. today you did, you bought it from today? Yeah, I know. Yesterday I bought um, a Darth Vader uh, sticker. I was like, oh, I was like, I think this guy's somebody, but whatever. He's apparently an artist too. Oh, that's funny. Dude, a ton of like metal people love comics. Yeah, I mean, look that's at funny. not not Lars, but the guy from Metallica. I mean, he's huge. Kirk Hammett, the guitarist. Yeah. He's a huge, huge horror comic fan. He loves that EC stuff. Craziness. Yeah. So comics and rock do mix. <laughs> I guess. Pearl Jam, Tom McFarlane. Very cool. I guess we're getting more and more evidence that suggests so, huh? Right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> So um, I think at some point we wound up at the XM booth, right? Yes, XM. Did anything Studios. happen there? Wow, so much happened there. So these guys, <laughs> XM Studios, they're based out of Singapore. Um, man, they make some killer, killer, killer statues. So, so the guys we met today are U.S. distributors, right? Yes. They're, and where the is it? GFX is that who G- it is? GFX, GFX distributors. distributors. Yep. Yeah. So. They told us something interesting before we get into uh, what else we saw. I guess they they are allowed to do DC stuff, but Marvel and Disney will not allow them a license to distribute um, their products because they sell, they make Marvel and Disney statues. They're just not allowed to distribute them in the U.S. Right? Yeah, they're they're like having trouble getting them licensed in the U.S. for some reason. But um, the the stuff they saw today is just unbelievable. I'll I'll let you guys go into that. So, I'm still bitter about um, leaving. I'm both bitter and proud of myself for not pre-ordering that um that dark side statue. Yeah. Yes. I also did not get a Joker statue. Yeah. That was really nice, but it's okay. But I did get a statue. <laughs> <laughs> you so, and the, and the DM got one too, yeah. even though he's not on. So they they had some killer statues out there. I did post some on our uh, IG page. You know the you know Supergirl, some, a, a killer Superman, who is hovering over crystals from I guess from uh, um, the Fort- uh, Fortress of Solitude. Um, it looks it it's stunning. It's it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and then there's what the the the, um, the dark seed that uh, dark side that dark side yeah that uh, TC was talking about. Uh, <laughs> He was, he's gripping Superman's uh, cape, and at his feet, he's got Aquaman's trident and Wonder Woman's shield, and then there's uh, uh, Batman's... Um, uh, Battering or something, right? No, it's his cowl and cape uh, okay. um, at his feet. And it's just, it, again, this is just... It's, it's. I mean, there were so many incredible pieces. Matt, Matt, wasn't there even an Iron Maiden piece? Dude, yeah. they were doing this huge Iron Maiden statue. It's, that's coming it, out in like two it's years. It's called Eddie. What, what's what's the thing behind that? Is that so Eddie, account? Eddie's like their like their like mascot. So wow. he's like this dead skeleton kind of thing that's been on their album cover since 1980, wow. and he's he's become just like a little um, like a, like a, a very iconic you know image for them. That, um, that thing was massive. Yeah, it's that's... huge, and it's some out of all this these only superhero <laughs> stuff they're doing. Then there's this Iron Maiden statue. Which is pretty funny. And it's yeah, huge. Like the last thing I it's expected. not tiny. It's huge. Yeah, it's, the yeah. guy said it's yeah. going to be between fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. Um, but what uh, I mean, considering the size of it, though, it's really not that bad. It's not, not bad for the, for the size. It's huge. It's probably three feet tall. Yeah, two and a half, three feet. 
the the problem with that is you have to like build your own cabinet. You're not going to find something that's going to fit that no, in. Absolutely. That's not. the problem with most of these pieces. Like that that the other dark side piece that we just saw, um, you know, a prototype for, <laughs> where the like the entire Justice League is attacking him. It's like you have to have like, you know, a house just for statues for that. And again, I mean, a- you'd have to build like you literally have to build a column and put like glass around it to display that thing. Yeah. And, and let's, and let, and so a lot of these statues, they're pre-order. Okay. But besides that, they are made to order. So they keep no stock on these. So when you, when you order one of these, you're getting one. They're not, there's, you know, if you want to come back at another time and try to get one, there aren't going to be any, they, they, they don't, they only make enough for the order the, for the pre-orders, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, he was telling us the the Batman one from last year, where the all those villains were like kind of piling up on Batman. He said they made 120 of those, and those all sold out. I think within the first day or two. I believe it. It's beautiful. Um, so what TC was saying before, so uh, our uh, our DM did buy one. He did pre-order uh, a Harley Quinn uh, Rebirth. That's their version B. Uh, but basically, it's Harley Quinn. Uh, about to slam down her um her uh, what do you call it the mallet she's ju- basically yeah. jumping out of a uh, a jack in a box with its joker on one side and what makes this different uh, between the version a and version b he bought the uh the he pre-ordered the version b which has got the uh it's got two hyenas jumping out with her version a has no hyenas what, uh, what are her hy- hyena names i i have no idea i would give you a hundred dollars if you knew the name I, I have no idea <laughs> uh, I don't remember what they are either. I think it's like something. I think I think Eddie might be one of them. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But this again, this is it's such a beautiful piece. It looks um Terry Dotson uh, very inspired, right? Absolutely. Um, so the our DM ordered that one, which is pretty cool. Um, me. So if you go to the XM website, it's uh it's on there. It says new. Um. So you, it looks like you can pre-order these on the website. It might be a little bit more money. Um, what I pre-ordered is the Aquaman Rebirth. Um, if you're on their website, it actually says orders closed. They're not taking any orders on it. Uh, when I talked to the girl, to the lady um, behind the booth uh, that took my order, she was telling me that they only opened this up, again, just for New York Comic Con. So after New York Comic Con, this statue's done. Um but it's uh, um, it's Aquaman uh, sitting on a beautiful seahorse, seahorse. holding giant a giant seahorse, huge, yeah. and, huge. It, and it doesn't look as bad as it looks in uh, the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. <laughs> or or on, or on that meme I take to your car. You're very funny. <laughs> this comes with, it comes with two heads. One is uh, what re- <coughs> excuse me, really long hair, and the other one is a short hair, which looks. I like... actually like the long hair version. He's got like the, the short hair, too, right? right? Yeah, I I like the short hair one too. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I like yeah. the flowing mane. I don't know. I I I I like them both. I think I like the short hair better. Um, but it, you know, this is a huge piece. It's a one one to six scale. Um, it looks like that there's a. It says edition size size seven hundred. So maybe they've got seven hundred. That's that they cool. Made. <laughs> um, beautiful so piece. Just, Can't wait for it to get it. Nice. So just to interject. Harley Quinn's hyenas names are Bud and Lou <laughs> after Abbott and Costello. Mm. that's funny yeah <laughs> very cool so that's awesome lots, lots of money spent at xm studios and lots more money could have been spent <laughs> yeah i was i was really tempted on that uh that dark side <laughs> statue yeah i'm glad i'm kind of glad we didn't <laughs> luckily i um most of my money was spent on the artist so um speaking of dark side i did get an awesome uh Chris Campana. So uh, again, I was saying that I did the 24 hour blinks and I get, after giving my, um, the, uh, the Lex Luthor to Alex and Claire to color, I gave, um, you know, I asked Chris if he could do something in my book and he like knocked it out of the park. You know, I have quite a few Chris pieces and I don't know, it looks like he put a little something extra in there on this one, but, um, that dark side was just amazing. Uh, probably, uh, probably my all-time favorite piece from him at this point, which I feel like changes every time I get a new piece from him. But um, yeah, 
Uh, there's still some other uh, pieces that I haven't got back. I think uh, JJ is going to do me a solid uh, Saturday and uh, grab Mike Lilly is the second person to be working on my gym at at New York Comic Con. He's going to be working on the Mysterio. Really excited. Uh, he might also be a potential future guest. You may hear him on a, a future episode of Don't Feed the Geeks, so stay tuned for that. And uh, Ben Harvey has my Wonder Woman statue. Probably won't see that one. Uh, I'm sorry, Wonder Woman statue. Wonder Woman uh, 24-hour book. Uh, that one I'm deciding to do a Wonder Woman in it instead of a different character like I am with the Batman and the Superman ones. Uh, so that one's just going to be all different Wonder Womans in it, like all, you know, everyone's personal style. So I'll probably have that one by the Suffolk County show. Awesome, and awesome. Uh, Riley Brown, he's another person that I'm going to ask JJ to check in with. Uh, he could either be having it this weekend, uh, a special thing. I don't even want to say what it is yet. I know you guys know what it is, but uh, I think it's pretty funny. Uh, I can't wait to share that one with uh, everyone who follows us on social media. But uh, I think that finally wraps me up in terms of uh, all the art that I got, which is probably less than usual if that's if that's believable. I think it is. It, it, yeah. it is, yeah. But um, that's it. Nice. What, uh, what else did we do? Uh, then we went, got back up to Best, and we hung around there at the, the, the booth for a little bit, right? Yes, we yeah. did. Yes, and then we, we hightailed it out of there at 6.50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was uh it, it's funny how how quickly you you watch them everybody break down for the night. Uh, Everybody's down in like 5 to 10 minutes. It's crazy. Yeah. It's uh it's hilarious to watch that. But um yeah, I think that was uh that was it. So uh the next thing you'll hear is uh JJ talking about Saturday and Sunday. Yep, but, that's uh, that's if there's anything, but I'll st- I'll still chime in and uh I'll finish this up uh on my own. Nice. Overall, a really good time. I had fun, even though it was tiring. Yeah. Yes. It's a it's a must do for us, and that's I think it's not necessarily a must do for everyone. No. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna see what Sunday looks like. I'm gonna bring my little boy with me, so we'll see how right. that. So is. does he does he need a pass or no? Uh, well, he's using yours. <laughs> yeah, he does because I, they they have those they have those. I think the passes are good for. Uh, isn't it like to five to twelve or something like yeah. that? You need a pass. He, he he should use yours and you should use mine because they might not believe that he's a professional. Oh th- no, that's right. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, I can report. I can I can talk about how bringing a six year old to Comic Con. Yeah, it's a good idea. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't get into the earlier with uh, how adults bring small children there. Yeah, it's, it makes it's, very uneasy. It's it's uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but uh, I'm I know It'll I'm not going to be there that long. Yeah. Mm-mm. Nice. Just get us our pins and get out. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Well, we'll, uh, well, uh, I'll let you. I'll let everybody know what's going on. All right. So that's it for Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if we'll have any announcements, but um, next week, if we do, yeah, I think that I, most of the stuff we heard was all this different. I think everybody's been wrapped up in Comic Con. So uh, if we hear anything, you know, you guys will get it later, huh? Next Monday. There you go. Yep. All right. All right. Well, do you want to do it until next time? I'll do it till next time uh, tomorrow. I'll do that. Until right. five seconds All from right. now. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, JJ here, I'm going to uh, continue this uh, in, a couple, in, a, in a little bit uh, for the rest of the two days. Cool. All right. There we go. Saturday and Sunday coming next. Hey, JJ here. And I'm, uh, I'm actually going to do part two to this because. Um, uh, TC and uh, Toy Story couldn't make uh, New York Comic Con on day three and four, but I was able to attend both days, three and four, and I actually have a special guest with me here today. I'm going to do things a little out of order because this special guest has to get to bed a little early tonight because he's had a rough day, Uh, but today is Sunday, um, the last day of uh, New York Comic Con 2019. Um, It was a very, very crowded show. If anybody's ever gone on a Sunday, it's, uh, you got a lot of little kids and, uh, you know, you can you can get some good deals, but it's it's a lot more crowded. So I'm bringing on my little. Um, I'm gonna call him JJ Junior. Um, so I got to bring my little boy uh, his, to his first time going to New York Comic Con, and I, I want to I want I want to talk to I want him to talk about his experience at New York Comic Con, going to his first time coming to this thing. He's six years old. So JJ, say hi to everybody. Hi. There we go. If anybody knows, if anybody knows. Uh, JJ Jr. here. He is the voice of our 
don't feed the geeks at the end of uh, each episode. So he uh, he did that about a year ago. So uh, he um, yeah, it's been about a year, buddy. So he's the voice. He's uh, he's a he's a popular guy. Gonna be famous one of these days, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, uh, how did you like your first time going to New York Comic Con? Well, it was really crowded. I couldn't really see you. Because <laughs> so, um, there's a lot of people, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. It, it was a bit crazy. It was? Uh-huh. So how many people do you think were there today? 8,144. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if that's a real number, but uh, well, that's probably close enough. So let me ask you something. So what was when you first walked in, did, was, it, was it, let me back up, was it exactly what you thought it was going to be? Did you think it was going to be bigger, smaller? What did you think it was going to be? I I thought that like you would actually um, go like up at the top of the building, and but like I didn't I didn't think it was going to be that big. Okay, it was pretty big though, right? Yeah. So what was your so some of the things you saw a lot of people dressed up in costumes, right? Did anybody was that what like what was your favorite person that you saw dressed up today? Did you have any favorites? Um. One of them, this is probably the only one. Which one? It was Zelda. You saw Zelda, right? Uh-huh. Well, it was actually Link, right? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, what was your favorite thing that you got to see today? Um, the basement. It was super crowded. What would The basement would have been the artist alley where mm-hmm. all the artists were. So you got to meet some pretty, pretty cool artists. You got to meet Billy Tucci. He's always nice to you. Um, and his wife and his two boys were there. Uh, so that, that was pretty cool. And you got to meet Ken Lashley. And uh, he was the he was the big guy, right? He gave you the uh, the Wolverine print and he signed for you, right? Yeah. That was cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was your favorite one? Yeah. Yeah. And then who else did you meet? You met Chris Campana? Yes. What did you get from him? Uh, another print. It was a Spider-Man. Like, he was confused that there were so much bad guys. That's cool. That was a pretty cool print, too. And thank you. You know, I want to say, if they listen to our show... Uh, you know, Chris and, and Ken, thank you so much for uh, taking care of my boy and uh, being nice to him. It was it was a very cool experience. Um, so yeah, we walked around the, the 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 artist alley a few times, and it was really crowded down there, right? It was super crowded. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. So um, then we went up to the main floor, right, where all the uh, vendors were. You saw a lot of. What, what did you see up there? I. Definitely saw a lot of posters. A lot of posters. Yes, and when we. And like when we left, they like they changed this so quickly from this area where you meet people to just uh, a Chevy air like you got to see a Chevy car. Oh, the car on the main area when yeah. you first walked in. Yeah, yeah that wasn't up on the main area. Yeah, right? the pink. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the Chevy cars down the front. But on the main floor with all the vendors, you what did you see? You saw people selling comics and posters. Well, the first thing I saw was. This big giant um, SpongeBob SquarePants, like the the food place, the oh the house and yeah, all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With I, the flags. Yeah, I did see that. That was pretty funny, right? Yeah, I didn't know what was in there. Like, was it a bounty house or <laughs> was it just a place where you get SpongeBob stuff? You know, what? we we didn't go there. We didn't check that out. Um, the, so I, I don't know what that was about. It was pretty weird too. Yeah. And then you got a big, we walked by the pop section. What did you see in the pop section? There was a big giant Thanos, right? Oh, yeah. That um, was that, Thanos, it was, it was like bigger than a normal house, like a mansion. <laughs> That's right. So cool, right? Yeah. So, and then, uh, so w- what did you end up buying today? What did you get today? Two posters and a mystery box. And a mystery box. We got a mystery box from, uh, from one of the boots and uh, it had some pretty cool things in there. We also got a, a mystery, a small mystery box from your brother, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool, right? So, would you want to go back to New York Comic Con again? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to check out another show, maybe not not as crowded? Um, I do like crowded places, but yeah. 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 What about these? So, we didn't we didn't get to go to any 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 panels or anything like that. We we walked quickly around around the floor because it was pretty crowded, right? Yeah. So I wish we had a little more time to walk around and see the booths and everything like that. Um, we got to check out the, uh, the one up where you got to play that star Wars game, right? That was Yeah, fun. that was awesome. Yeah. We got that on order. So, um, no, we're good, bud.
oh wow there's a big giant spider on my on my on my mixing board this that is, is crazy true. that is crazy that is crazy that's a big spider <laughs> all right buddy so we're gonna close this off i'm gonna come back i'm gonna put this little guy to bed but i'm gonna be back real quick and um well i'll finish up the uh the, the last two days so thank you jack say goodbye to everybody bye all right all right so i got to put my little uh my little one to bed so sorry about that little interruption um, so I'm going to just continue on here. Um, so yeah, so JJ here back again. Um, what you just heard was my little, um, my little son, uh, who did his first day at, uh, his first time ever at, uh, New York Comic Con. Um, so I got to take him in and, uh, walk him around and get him to experience what I experience when, uh, when we do these shows and, uh, it was a lot for him. So, uh, it was cool, uh, to bring him along and, um, I think he wants to do it again. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, so continuing on with uh before before I brought my son on. So I, I, I went by myself Saturday to New York Comic Con Saturday and yesterday, uh and today. Um so yesterday was uh, again another just busy day, lots of people. Um I kinda I got to walk around the show, all the aisles, because um, I didn't get to do that really Thursday and Friday. We did a lot of running around. Uh, but again, Saturday was just mobbed. Um, so some of the highlights, so from what I understand, I think, you know, I don't get a chance to go to the, uh, go, go to the, um, um, panels and stuff like that. Cause it's just, it takes too long and, uh, it's just a little ridiculous to wait all that time for, for, for panels and all that. Uh, but from some of the news that I, that I, that I heard was, um, uh, Maggie, uh, the girl that plays Maggie from the walking dead is coming back. Um, she left the show last year and I think but a year ago. Yeah, a year ago to do uh, her own show called uh, Whiskey Cavalier. Um, I actually liked the show. It wasn't too bad. A lot of people didn't like it, but that show got canceled. Um, so now she's back. She's back uh, um, coming back to um, Walking Dead. So curious to see how that's going to play out. Um, I stopped watching The Walking Dead. A long time ago because it just it gets a little ridiculous um so um we'll see what that comes out my wife watches it so i'll get the updates from her um the other thing too was which huge which was a total surprise to everybody else but the cast of the new harley quinn um birds of prey showed up uh at the dc booth unannounced totally unannounced um i believe this happened after i left because i left uh i left at three o'clock three thirty so I think they got on. I think they got on at four, maybe four thirty, and just caused a whole commotion. Um, they came out, actually signed autographs, did a whole meet and greet, totally unplanned. Um, from my understanding, also pissed off a lot of people because it was unplanned, and people that were there didn't know they were there. And um, so, you know, uh, what's her name? Uh, Harley Quinn, who plays Harley Quinn, uh, Margaret. Uh, she showed up. I think that was her name. Um, she showed up again signing autographs so it was a big deal so it was you know i, I kind of wish i would have noticed knew that i would i would have liked to checked it out um see other news that showed up there i don't know of any other news that showed up saturday um i'm trying to think mm, not, not that i know of um so yeah it just again just walking around um i did pick up a couple more books um what did i pick up i picked up uh another uh, i picked up two more aquaman books to to uh fill in my um my run that i'm trying to do um i picked up uh what did i pick up i picked up oh i picked up aquaman number 18 which is the uh the marriage between uh aquaman and mara which has you know been on my list to get and i also picked up uh adventure comics um oh my god adventure comics 270 um this is uh the first appearance of the aqua cave a little ridiculous but it's something i wanted um it's uh, the cover's got superman laying down on a bed um the name of that story is called uh, the stone stolen identities uh but it's got uh, an aqua i guess it's got an aquaman story on the inside i haven't opened up to really to take a look at the story uh but it's the first appearance of the aqua cave pretty funny um i also picked up uh you know i've been i've been kicking myself in the butt because i didn't want to try to to buy any more of these star wars authentic authentics um tops autograph uh pictures um they came out with the series too i've been really avoiding trying not to buy these things because 
you know, they're great and all that. You got you got a, a good chance of getting some big names, but some good hits. Um, but you know, justifying spending a hundred bucks on these things, it's it's been uh, really tough on me. So I've been trying to avoid buying them. Uh, but unfortunately, I broke down and bought two of them from um, from a guy that I know uh, that has a shop, a store in uh, in, in New York City in, in Midtown. Uh, Mont- uh, so I picked up two. I haven't opened them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to because I'm I st- I'm going to do a a, a a video of me opening them, a box video doing this. Um, but I I also have a series one that I bought like a month ago that I still haven't opened up. So maybe I'll do all three at the same time. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens there. Um, what else did what else happened? So um, I had to break down. Um, as much as it killed me, I had to help out one of my buddies, uh, uh, Mr. Tom Travers. He's a big um, a guy we don't like to talk about on our show, uh, Rob Liefeld. Uh, he wanted a, a book from him, uh, Brigade Number One. So I actually broke down, waited online to buy this book, and got it signed him, and walked away really fast. So, uh, um, Tom, I hope you like it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was a pretty short day. It was a long day by myself, but it was also short. Like I, I went in uh, a little later than normal, and I left about three or three three thirty. And uh, I got to walk all the booths, all the all the all the rows. Um, got to see some people down again uh, on Artist Alley, uh, but that was it. Um, today, f- uh, for today Sunday, um, like I said, we, we I had my son on before. Uh, uh, he's six years old, and uh, he wanted to go to Comic Con. Um, I've been dreading taking him because I, you know, I I've always told myself I I always. I I never wanted to go into Comic Con on a Sunday because it's just it's so full of people and it's so full of kids because it's it's like a kid day where kid tickets are like five bucks when you buy them online. Um, so I I've always avoided um, I've always avoided Sundays, but today I decided to break down because he wanted to really go and experience it and wanted to see what Daddy does. So I took him in and uh, it was a good day. You know I I had fun. It was nice just to take him in and walk around and show him everything and. Um, he knows me and, you know, that I like my comics and I got, you know, so many of them, but he doesn't know the other half of it, what happens at a con. He just thinks it's all comic books and everything, but there's a lot more to it. Um, so it was, uh, it was, a, it was a good, it was a nice feeling. Um, I also have a little one, a four year old and I, he won't be coming anytime soon. Um, I just, I don't, I don't think it's good for kids, um, especially when they're that young, but today was a good day. Walked him around. We, uh, you know, I got to introduce him to a lot of the, uh, artist friends and the writers friends that we've uh we've uh met over the years at all these shows so it was pretty cool to get him to experience that and they were so nice a lot of these guys were just really good with the kids and uh um you know rob lashley he's just a great guy um very very friendly you know he hooked he he gave my son an autograph print which was really nice again ken if you if you listen to this or if this word makes back to you thank you so much it was really cool to to uh to, to see that and have that and again Chris Campana as much as I like to give him crap um, I love this guy Chris Campana is just a great guard uh, just a great guy great friend great artist um, I love this guy a lot he's uh, he's uh, he's a good guy and uh, he uh, was really nice to my boy he's my when, by the time I got to Chris you know my little my little one was really tired and just was kind of done uh, but you know Chris got him a print and uh signed it and everything else and he was happy so again chris thank you so much man i do appreciate it um so yeah i'm not gonna be much longer here um uh, but you know again saturday show crowded sunday show crowded um i think next year is going to be a little bit different i don't know if i'm going to spend as much time as i have in the past because this i think this is my 13th 12th or 13th show uh to the new york uh to the new york comic-con um, and it's just every year it's getting worse, and I'm hoping uh, when they expand the Javits Center that it, they spread a little bit out. Uh, but it was, uh, it's just it's just too crowded. Uh, you can't move around. Um, anything else happened? Nothing else happened. Nothing eventful. Um, today I don't know. I I didn't really stay up on the news because I was more concerned about uh, watching my boy and making sure he was in front of me or next to me and held on pretty tight. Um, but I believe uh, if anything co- comes out important, we'll uh, we'll announce it. Um, oh, but I did get all my pins. So thank you know for DC, uh, the DC universe. If you had your, uh, we just, I think we just posted that on our Instagram page. So when you hear this, it's already been posted, but you know, they gave away these pins, uh, to DC universe members. Um, so I was able to get every single one, which is kind of cool and they're cool pins. Um, so yeah. Um, anything else? Nothing else. So I'm going to end the note. Um, and if I do this right, 
all good. If not, I'm going to get some uh, some feedback from TC. Um, so on that note, until next time, remember, don't be the geeks.